What's going on guys? Took a little break this week. Me and my girl went to Disneyland and I got a gnarly sunburn to show for it. Thus the redness here. But I'm back and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tyler Hero Miami Heat City Edition jersey. So on Monday this week, they released the Jimmy Butler Authentic on Nike and I was not paying attention. So I grabbed a size small so we're going to check it out in a future video. Initially, when this City Edition jersey leaked online, I was not into it at all. I thought it looked like a murder or ransom note and some creeper wrote it. But the more I see it on court and they play in it, I've kind of like fallen for it. Like it's definitely grown on me and hopefully having it in hand makes me kind of just turn the corner and like fully into it. I bought this jersey at the Miami Heat team store for around 140 bucks. So the one thing I do like about buying things at the specific team stores is that they'll have the sponsor patches attached to the jersey. So I got a swingman version from there. And right now at the time of this recording, it's pretty much still widely available. So I know Jimmy Butler, the City Edition version is at Dick's Sporting Goods and I think it's still fully in stock or I'm not sure if it's a pre-order. But I know at the Miami Heat team store, they also have it as well. Some of it are in stock. Some of it is like made to order. So it's going to be a pre-order. And it says on their website um, for some of the jerseys, it takes five or six weeks. So it's going to be a little wait, like I said, pre-order. But I'm going to link everything that has it in stock in the description below. So in today's video, we're just going to go ahead and unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details, and see if this is something you want to purchase yourself. So if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos or there's sales or new releases, you don't miss out. But hopefully I won't miss out like the authentic version. Uh, it happens. I'm, I can't always catch them all. But here we go. So Miami Heat Team Store, the one thing I wanted to show you guys is the little bag. The little features they have on the bag. They got the lettering from like different times of the Miami Heat jerseys or, or script, different script, that's what I meant. But it looks nice, right? Little bag. I'm not gonna lie, I had to go fix the uh, actual jersey. I neatly folded it in. I sell jerseys, so I mean, I know how to fold them nicely because they just threw it in and it just started to crease up and wrinkle. So, you know, when you got regular people that don't care about like the actual items, like they'll just throw it in. So it, it is what it is, but I have to fix it for the video. <laughs> but at the Miami Heat team store, it actually came with a duffel bag. It looks like a little bag with the Miami uh, script in the front with the different types of lettering style. So it's a nice little touch. They added that in, FedEx. And we got the first look right here, right here. Boom. So you got the UKG sponsor patch, 75th edition Nike swoosh. You got Miami in the front. And you got this guy, Tyler, here on the back. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the 75th anniversary Jerry West logo. So on the back, they use a plastic material and it is actually stitched down. So normally Swingman jerseys um, have a heat press piece, but this year, they have the plastic material and they make it look shiny where it, when the lights hit, it makes it look nice and fancy. You got 75 on there as well. But we'll start off at the collar. Solid black collar with the rib material. Arm openings, you got the same thing as well. And then you got Tyler Hero. So it's just gonna be a white base, nicely heat pressed. You can see right here. And then right here, you got Two different colorways you got the black and white right here you got the white trim that goes around so it is using different scripts from different miami jerseys so you can see the vice versa ones from last year as well that neon blue that baby blue and like hot pink that was a dope colorway and then on the side panel you can see right here there's a streak of uh it's like kind of like yellow or kind of gold that runs down the side which is a dope touch on both sides as well. And then at the bottom right corner, you got dry fit. That's a little touch that they changed up this year. And that right there, guys, is the back of the jersey. On the flip side, the collar is the same style. You have a rounded collar, rib material. On the arm openings, the same style. On the neck label, you can see where the NBA logo is actually stitched down. So they move the information off center. This one's large, made in Honduras. 
And then we got the retail tag. So Miami Heat Team Store, 140. This is a size large. You can see, ah, pretty much standard stuff. Then we go to the Nike swoosh. Just look how beautiful it looks. So on normal Swingman jerseys, it's gonna be like heat press and they don't use this plastic material. But for the 75th anniversary, they gotta go all out, make it look nice, nice and shiny. You got the UKG, or what is it? I don't even know what their sponsor is, but yeah. <laughs> it's a heat pressed polyester piece. And then we go right to the front. So Miami Heat, you can see different years versions of lettering. That's why I said it kind of looks like a ransom note because you know, they cut down all the pieces of different lettering for magazines and stuff like that and like paste them together. But you can see all the years kind of just blended into one. The numbering has the same style as the back. Just all heat pressed. And down right here at the jock tag, pretty standard stuff. Swing Man, 75 anniversary is a little new addition that they add. 48 large, the Nike swoosh, the little tab that says City Edition. And then you can see that streak that runs up, kind of like orange. Got a little side split with reinforced stitching. Then you got 15 strong printed onto the jersey. Kind of like the coloring on the side. It's kind of like yellow, orange, 15 strong, which is dope. And that right there, guys, is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 180 pounds. I usually go in between a medium or a large, depending on my weight at the moment. So I got my winter body in full effect, so I like going to size up so I have a little more like relaxed fit. I could wear a hoodie over, uh, well, underneath the jersey. So you can see right here, there's a lot more chest room. I'm barely pulling. You get a little more room if you go a size up. So usually my rule of thumb is just doing your t-shirt size usually works out pretty well, but you also gotta account for your body type and the way you like the jersey to wear. So like, if you're a little bulkier, got more muscle, um, got a little extra weight, Go size up. The extra like chest like room does not hurt at all. So it's actually yeah, actually nicer. I like that better. I like it a little more kind of baggy. Not baggy, but like, you know, relaxed. But right here you got the front of the jersey. You got Miami across the front with a different script, different colors. And then you got the awesome swoosh patch right here. Side panel two of the um, different polyester pieces that run a streak down and you got it on both sides then you got the back of the jersey and that was a lazy attempt to do the snarl that tyler hero did in the bubble i don't have a signature move off the top of my head from his i know he shoots he's a sniper um i can't think of anything but overall i think this jersey man I, I it grew on me I actually really like this jersey um, maybe because it's a dark jersey and I'm biased I like the darker like sleek looking jerseys but you know in the beginning like I said I thought it looked like a ransom note but it really does pop on the black I thought that was a cool touch I like the idea and concept of it um, maybe next year or next time they can kind of like execute it a little kind of smoother instead of like kind of like blocky clunky looking but it looks cool. I mean, if you're not really paying attention to what it says, if you just see like different colors across the chest, you're like, oh, the colors look nice. And then getting it from the team store, I did like that they, it comes with the actual sponsor patch and that they gave me a free, like a, uh, uh, what is that, a bag. You can put your gym clothes, whatever, shoes in there. It works out for 140 bucks, works out pretty well because I mean, the jerseys are usually what, I don't know, was this year 110 or 130? One of those. I really do like these 75th anniversary version jerseys. I like the little touch that they added on the swoosh and the NBA logo. It's one of those things that, you know, different milestones, you're never gonna get like the same milestone. It's, there's never gonna be another 75th anniversary. So these are like collectible items for myself. So, you know, I think it looks cool. But what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below and hey, thank you again guys for watching. And like I said, I'm gonna have the authentic version Jimmy Butler when it comes in. I'm gonna do a video on it so we can kind of see the difference or like upgraded features. But hey, thanks again for watching guys and on to the next video.